Remember the show with the talking weasel and baboon? I think it was called I Am Weasel. I Am Weasel is an animated TV series created by David Feast for Cartoon Network that ran from 1997 to 2000. And it was produced by Hanna-Barbera. The series follows I Am Weasel who is intelligent, noble, beloved, and successful. He is voiced by Michael Dorn who many may have known him from Star Trek as Worf. Then there's IR Baboon who lacks Weasel's success, intelligence, and is typically envious of Weasel's accomplishments. He is voiced by Charlie Adler who has voiced many familiar characters that you heard in this show and many other shows like Ed and Bev Big Head from Rocco's Modern Life. There's Buster Bunny from Tiny Toons, Cow and Chicken, The Red Guy, and many more. I Am Weasel aired as a segment of Cow and Chicken, which was also created by David Feast from 1997 to 1999, frequently airing as the third of the three segments in the episode and eventually it spun off into its own series. It had both the new episodes and the ones that aired on Cow and Chicken included in the series, totaling 79 episodes. And the runtime for the series was about seven minutes per episode. The show had five seasons, season one through four with 13 episodes, while season five had the most with 27 episodes. It was mentioned from an interview by Cartoon Brew with David Feast that he originally thought about James Earl Jones for the role of I Am Weasel. Not gonna front, that surprised me because that is the first time I ever heard about that. Although he would have did a good job playing that role, but with how things worked out, I still think they made a good choice. But it is interesting to think, what if James Earl Jones would have played as Iron Weasel? When it comes to the show, it's about the random adventures of two animal frenemies, I Am Weasel and I Are Baboon. They are not playing around with the random adventures. You'll see them being pilots on a plane, traveling through time, in another country, they're vampires, they're ghosts, and they might even be working at a grocery store. Almost any adventure or job you could think of, they're doing it. During some of the episodes, it'll be Weasel doing his own thing or Baboon and eventually run into each other during whatever situation is going on. While in certain future episodes, you'll see them start to show off together. The universe setting for the series, I double checked online and from what I could see, the first season has no link to Cow and Chicken's universe. When season two starts, they usually arrive in the same universe and that's when you start to see the red guy. In the episode called IR and Wrong Cartoon, it seems to suggest a different universe because Cow pulls Weasel from the TV and when it's time for him to go back, she tries to put him back into the TV. Yes. I'm going to need your help. I can... <laughs> Baboon, on the other hand, sees this and somehow gets to Cow House without going through the TV. Eventually, you'll see Super Cow in the series. Cow pops up towards the end of one episode, and when Weasel and Baboon had to go back to school, Cow and Chicken are there. Over time, both of the series are connected, which makes sense being made by the same creator merging things together. When watching the show, you see Weasel is skilled in most professions, electronics, engineering, medicine, and philosophy. Also, he can be brave and heroic, so at times in the show, he is ready to solve any problem and save the day. Early on in the series, people call him when something pops up. I know he's one of the main characters, but is there no one else that they could call? What if he's busy? For example, in the second episode of season one, he went after Baboon, who was trying to be first to be on the sun, after he seen that Weasel was basically first to be on some of the other planets. Weasel did hesitate at first. He thought he wouldn't have to deal with Baboon anymore, but that thought went away because he didn't want to think like that. I could be rid of him forever. No, no, it is a sin to think thusly. Must I? I am Weasel. Rescue my most misguided of adversaries? Yes! Which shows that he has his own morals that he follows. Even though that was dangerous following him to the sun and bringing him back while Baboon wasn't trying to listen to him. Then there was the episode when he was trying to cure something for his patient and Baboon took over and made something that turned people into some type of germ that split apart. Baboon thought he was helping people out, but nah, he didn't at all, which then caused Weasel to figure out a cure to turn everyone back to normal. Once again, he's pretty skilled. Everything seems to be perfect for Weasel, right? He's smart. He makes sure to help people out. The women love him. The people love him. Well, things do start to change up in the future. In season two, during the episode titled IR Role Model, the humans were quick to change up on him. After always cheering for him, he got blamed for the fires that had happened by the red guy. He was talking about how Weasel was suspicious for showing up to most of the fires. He's a firefighter. It's his job. That's what he's supposed to do. 
In that episode, Baboon was the hero for a change while Weasel had a tough time, but he was able to turn things around. One of the episodes where Weasel and Baboon are working together, Weasel built like some bikini that transformed into like a bike. I know it's random, but Weasel was rude in the beginning a little bit because Baboon was late. I not realize that this may be the most important day in the history of beachwear. But I am trying. Oh no. I get it, but he was trying to tell him why he was late. As they got the bike to work, it was revealed that Baboon was nine hours late because he was trying to find the brakes for the bike. What do you mean you can't stop? That was all I'm trying to tell you. I are being late, but I am not being able to find a break. Which he would have known if he simply listened to Baboon. Not saying like Weasel doesn't yell or something here and there, but he could have at least heard Baboon out. That's just a few things. After season one, you do start to see some changes when it comes to Weasel. Moving along to someone who has a different experience than Weasel, and that is Baboon. Baboon is jealous of Weasel, so when he tries to do something different, it never turns out well. It's just that if he thought stuff out instead of just jumping out there immediately trying to outdo Weasel, it could be a success. There was a flashback in the episode around the time they were both being born, and Baboon was jealous from the beginning. I was like, you were just born, and you already jealous of him. There was a time when Baboon was trying to compete with Weasel on who could make the better music and the box that Baboon had was causing an earthquake and Weasel was trying to stop him but he was too stubborn and thinking that Weasel was jealous. He could have really injured some people. When he gets into that mood of him not trying to listen to Weasel because he thinks he's jealous, he really doesn't pay attention as much. <laughs> Another time was the very first episode. Weasel got put in charge of building a bridge and Baboon wanted to build a bridge, so he tried messing up Weasel's plans, which caused him to leave and figure out another way. Now, Baboon did build a bridge. It went to the wrong place and somehow Weasel got credit for it and people were happy for him, so you already know Baboon was mad. Maybe if he just would have talked to Weasel, it could have worked out. I will say though, I thought Baboon finally had caught a break. It was revealed that he was royalty in the episode called IR Gentlemen's. Once he went through the proper etiquette training by Weasel, he went to go see the queen and became the new duke. That sounds good for him, right? No, it wasn't because he found out that his uncle had debt and he had to repay it. They had him cleaning the restroom. I was done at that point. I thought he had actually had something good going on. At times, I do feel sorry for Baboon, even though most of it is his fault, and in some instances, people don't really treat him that well. When Baboon and Weasel had accidentally got their brains switched, the nurse just kicked Baboon out of the hospital. It was Weasel at the time, but it was still rude. Talking about they gotta change the sheets for the next customer. What if he's still hurt? When Weasel was in the hospital, they was asking him if he needed an extra pillow. We do get some emotional moments from Baboon. It isn't just laughs. In the first episode of season two, Baboon had adopted a kid and it was great to see more of his caring side. Of course, Weasel got called in because of the red guy. But it turned out that Baboon did a good job as a parent and Weasel didn't need to be there. He raised him until he got older. You'll also notice that he has a t-shirt with his name written upside down, similar to how Baboon does his. He did name his kid Grandpa because he really cares about his grandpa. During that episode, it didn't have to deal with him being better or jealous of Weasel, just him becoming a parent and taking care of his son. Overall, after season one, you start to see them pop up together in the beginning of the episodes and the two of them start to become friends, or at least get along because they still have their moments. I thought it was cool to see when it was one of the Christmas episodes, Baboon had got a bike and he didn't know how to ride a bike, so Weasel was there to help him out. Another moment was when the red guy was telling a story that involved Baboon and Weasel and they didn't like how the story was being told, so they teamed up against him. Weasel and Baboon aren't the only characters that you'll see throughout the series. There's the antagonist, the red guy, Lula Bell, Admiral Bullish, Jolly Roger, and more characters from Cow and Chicken. The red guy made his first appearance in the first episode of season two, and you continue to see him throughout the future seasons. He is a character that many have seen from Cow and Chicken and in Iron Weasel. He usually has a different identity like being a parent, a warden, a lawyer, stewardess, and more. This character can be funny at times, but he just be doing too much butting into stuff, no pun intended. Just know that he's always gonna be up to something. 
For example, Baboon had broken his phantom foot in front of Weasel's house. He went to the hospital and guess who was there? The red guy. Once he overheard that it was Weasel's fault, he suggested that he sue him. There he goes starting stuff and the lawyer that he recommended was himself so he trying to get paid. But in the end it was revealed that he was the one that caused the accident in the first place. However, he isn't always up to something. In season 5 episode 5, the red guy can in a way be helpful. The show did its own version of Cinderella with Weasel and Baboon being brother and stepbrother and the red guy showed up to help Weasel go to the ball. You already know Baboon interrupted that, but the red guy did try to help out. Lula Bell is Weasel's assistant who is introduced in season 2 of the series. You see her here and there in some episodes and her last appearance was in season 3. The character was voiced by two different people, Suzanne Blakesley in season 2 and Teresa Ganzel in season 3. Admiral Bullets is someone who appeared in the earlier season seeking Weasel's help with stuff and like Lula Bell, his last appearance was in season 3. Jolly Roger is a character who first appeared in season 3 then officially in season 5. And you do see some appearances from the teacher who is from Cow and Chicken. When it comes to the comedy in the show, it's pretty funny. Weasel and Baboon have their moments from what they say and do at times. Mostly Baboon will have you laughing in the episodes. There was this one time where Weasel and Baboon were pets and Weasel said some stuff that caused Baboon to run away and he left a note. Weasel reads it and it was funny hearing his reaction of just how Baboon's grammar was atrocious. Like, bruh, is that what you need to be focused on? He ran away. Dear Timmy, I are running away forever because you loving Weasel more? Sweet mother of macaroni! His grammar is atrocious! Another funny moment was Baboon was driving a car with Weasel in it. He came to a stop and told the person in front of him to move. They yelled back and Baboon hopped up out the car. I was not expecting him to leave that car at all. Moving car, head like jaw! Shut up, babe! I laughed when Baboon got out the car to go to the other person's car. I was like, bruh, he not playing around today. Let's get to the things that I didn't find funny. When they laughed at Baboon's red bottom, after a while, it's just not that funny. Some people may laugh the first time the joke pops up, but when it pops up in different episodes, it just doesn't make me laugh. There was an episode where they were referencing Batman with Baboon as Baboon Man and Weasel as Boy Weasel. I'm not gonna front, I don't know what it was about this episode, but Baboon being dumb was kind of annoying and not funny. When he ends up messing something up or not paying attention to what he's supposed to, but the episodes after that I found funny, so I don't know what it is about this one. In future seasons, you will start to see cameos and references like previously mentioned about Batman and Robin. There's an episode where you see the stars are older and in retirement homes. You see Cow and Chicken, Dexter from Dexter's Laboratory. Doggy, Johnny Quest, Quick Draw McGraw, Betty, Boo Boo, Pebbles and Bam Bam, Haji, and Baba Louie. And the villains that they showed in the episode was Ranger Smith and Mr. Slate. Season 4, Episode 2, Weasel and Baboon are literally filming I Am Weasel and the director, you guessed it, is the red guy. You can see the different references throughout the episode like Elmer Fudd and Bugs Bunny, Coyote vs. Roadrunner, and they even did their own version of a soap opera. They had the soap opera type music playing and everything, but it was funny seeing them act like they were in a soap opera and it was cool to see them reference the other cartoons that many of us have seen before. Getting back to the story with Weasel and Baboon, as the story progresses, Weasel starts to see that the people in a way are stupid and in season 5 or around that time, they start to get along more with Baboon. In the episode called A True Story, Weasel is having a novel written and Baboon ends up being the one who writes it. He did not check that book at all. See, this is what I'm talking about. I don't know what's going on with him. He didn't proofread it. He didn't go over it. He didn't do nothing. Once the book got to the store, Weasel thought that the book that Baboon wrote made the people stupid. After Weasel read it, him and Baboon realized that he was still smart and that the book didn't make everyone stupid, but they were stupid already and he never noticed. It means that your book didn't make everybody stupid. I guess everybody was stupid already and I just never noticed. 
to be honest, some of the humans throughout the show, maybe early on, weren't too stupid, but as it progresses, some of them seem stupid. They mostly just add to the story for Weasel and Baboon to do stuff, and you can see at times they relate to Baboon here and there. Probably even more than Weasel versus the beginning when Baboon kept getting disrespected and Weasel got a little bit more appreciation. Even with some of that stuff happening, it still doesn't take away from the contrast between Weasel and Baboon. In the series finale titled IR Legend, they show the series that the people are watching in I Am Weasel is actually IR Baboon and not Weasel, which means Baboon is the star of the show. Time for the IR Baboon Show, starring IR Baboon and me, the red guy. <laughs> <gasps> it was Baboon all along and not me that everyone was watching. I completely forgot this happened. I was like, wait, what? But Baboon did want attention, and what more could he ask for than being the star of the show? If this wasn't the series finale and they made one more episode with Baboon knowing that he was the star of the show, you best believe he would have been telling Weasel every time. The last episode title seems to be tied to the book that David Feast read when he was growing up, and that inspired the name of the show I Am Weasel, and that is I Am Legend. It's pretty awesome that he was able to tie that in and literally I thought about that movie when I had seen the title of the last episode. Rewatching this series brought back some memories from back in the day watching some of the episodes from this show and the different cartoons from that time. I think it still holds up to today. Some stuff you may or may not find funny. It just depends on the person. Some of the episodes are a good watch and you're bound to find something entertaining from them. Plus, you get to see familiar characters from Cow and Chicken, different cameos, and more. Comment below what did you think about the show I Am Weasel and what other shows would you like to see get talked about on the channel.